Okay, here we have a 555 timer chip. We put a diode between R1 and R2, across R2 basically. Um, you have your uh, R1, which is, uh, we have a 10K variable resistor, and we have a 10K variable resistor for R2. Um, we also have a 1K resistor attached after the variable resistor. And then we have another 1K attached after the R2 resistor. So we actually have 11 vari 11K variable resistor in a way that can't go lower than 1K. Okay, here you have an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is showing roughly about an 8 duty cycle, which it seems like um, it's still a lot, 8 duty cycle, if you're trying to get 0 volts. Um, this basically like a pulse... Uh, variable switch or a variable voltage regulator in a way and if you just if it's at eight duty cycle it's still giving off too much for four light bulbs now the more if you have a huge load they'll probably you know keep it down even lower but because it is isn't so much of a load it keeps blinking like a light bulb but it's because of the load um, on this video we're not showing now I'm using dip switches to increase capacitance and vary the frequency. Um, and you'll see that on the oscilloscope in a little bit. Um, uh, what we're trying to accomplish is to we're rectifying voltage from the wall and we're putting it um, straight into the 555 timer chip uh, circuit with three MOSFETs and we're trying to vary the ground to our load and not put in 175 all at once. Um, there's the frequency again. Now I'm just flipping dip switches to change the frequency. Um, the frequency we're going basically from 100 frequency to I think 400 was the most or somewhere around that area. And it seems like a hundred frequency. I think we get it down to fifty frequency, but um, it seems like at a hundred it seems to be pretty good. And later on, we'll um, we change the hundred k. I mean, the on the the one thousand k that was attached to the variable resistor, we change it to a hundred ohm, and it reduced our duty cycle down to I think it was like point seven or something like that duty cycle and when we did that then the light bulbs don't even come on it leaves it only like a volt across the light bulb which is perfect um, and now we can control we were controlling a very small motor with 170 volt in the back of the circuit and able to stop the motor which is very good because you know that the motor runs on just about anything and that's what we have in the next video. Here the light bulbs are just blinking on and off. The camera is snubber, you know, it's it's able to uh, readjust for the light, so you can't. It's hard to tell how bright it really is because the camera keeps readjusting for the light.
Okay, here we can see that it's uh, at 7 hertz and 8 duty cycles. So they're both pretty low. Um, and the light bulb still comes on pretty strong. We need to, to reduce the uh, um, duty cycles in order to reduce the uh, voltage going to the light bulb. Um, this one won't read lower than 4 hertz or 4 duty cycles, so I think it'll read lower than 4 duty cycles, but not lower than 4 hertz. This meter is basically designed for cars, not for this kind of stuff. Here we have it again at 7 hertz. If we move one one resistor, it moves the hertz. If we move the other resistor, it moves the duty cycle. Works pretty good. So here we're just moving them around. That's where we we go in ahead and remove the uh, thousand. K uh, resistor, and we went ahead and put a 100 in ohm resistor in it. And what that allowed us to do is even go lower on the duty cycle. So now our duty cycle, we can get it below 8 uh, duty cycles. Um, I also bought some MOSFETs off the internet. We bought like a 100 packs, so we've been blowing a good 50 of them already. Just practicing stuff. Highly recommend. Okay, now with that 100 ohm, we're down to 0 0.7, 0 0.8 duty cycles. So it's very little bit on, and we're at 89 hertz. And we'll look at the light bulb won't even be on at all. Now moving the duty cycles up. 28, 32. can basically go from 0.7 all the way to 92 on the duty cycles. And as you move the duty cycles, you will change frequency a little bit. Here's where we try to put in 175 volt. All you're doing is using a rectifier to a capacitor straight from your wall. That gives you your 175 um, volts into the first capacitor. From the first capacitor, you take your ground, put it through your MOSFETs, and then after that, you have your output from your MOSFETs to your second capacitor. Your second capacitor will go towards your load. And so now we have 1.8 volts across our second capacitor, which is across the light bulb, parallel with the light bulb. And, um, but our input is 175 volts. So it's 170. And we only have 3 volts across those light bulbs. And we have 100 hertz, or 80, close to 100 hertz. Now we move in it, the duty cycles, and up it goes. Nice and slow. And these br these uh, light bulbs get extremely bright with 175 volts over it, and they're only designed for 120 volts.
that's it. Now you have a voltage regulator. If anybody else knows of a better way, leave me a message.